Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Jack2505. This is 2505 Gaming, and today we're going to be talking about the new Gotham Knights reveal. And there's going to be a lot to talk about with this game. It's looking good, so let's just get into it. Batman is dead, and now you play the role of the Gotham Knights. This game doesn't have anything to do with the Arkham Trilogy, so this will be sort of like a, a soft reboot. You're going to be playing as Batgirl, Nightwing, the first Robin, Red Hood, Jason Todd, the second Robin, and Tim Drake as the current Robin. And for the first time in these Arkham type games, there's going to be up to two player co-op. You can still play the game solo if you want, but you now have the option to play two players co-op online, which is a really, really good addition to the game. I think two players is going to be a nice sweet spot. Any, any more than that, then it gets a bit cramped and a bit chaotic. And I think two player co-op, it suits the Batman style of combat. Two players against a group of enemies and, and bosses as well. So, you know, it's either you're stealthily taking people out or taking people out in that stylistic co-op fashion. Two players, nice sweet spot and a gameplay with a co-op. It really, really, it really looks good. Gotham Knights has been labelled an action RPG. When we watch the gameplay footage, I can see that the player controlling Batgirl and the enemies were level 10. So there could be elements of looting and there's definitely leveling involved. This could be the case and it could bring a lot of replayability. We're not quite sure whether it's going to go full Avengers, but I think this particular Arkham type game is going to be a lot more than just playing a campaign and then putting a pad down then move on to another game they're looking to keep us here for for quite a long time the actual gameplay footage we were treated to involved batgirl and tim drake both look really good unique and provided different styles of gameplay good synergy and teamwork i have to say the bat bike looks amazing i love controlling batman vehicles in games I really liked Arkham Knight and I know a lot of people didn't like the Batmobile but I think I was one of the few that actually did. I love driving around in it and I know I'm going to love the Batbike as well. We need the Batwing and we need the Batbolt too. I have a feeling that all these vehicles are also going to be included in the game. The developer in the trailer mentioned that fighting Mr. Freeze is going to be very different fighting him at level 5 than it will be at level 15 in regards to stats and attacks so the kind of the vibe that i'm getting here is if you fight mr freeze and you try and rush and fight him and you if you're under leveled you might have to go away level up and come back that's very you know action rpg looter style type thing i'm not sure how people are going to feel about this but those are the vibes that I'm getting, that you might not be ready for him, go away, level up, come back later. I must admit, I am a fan of, the, of these kind of games. I love leveling up. I love you know, grinding up characters, getting them to max level, mid-maxing mid and things like that. So I actually don't mind this at all. And I actually hope there is an element of that in this game. With Avengers around the corner and Gotham Knights looking to throw their hat in the ring, 2021 is looking really good for superhero games plus Suicide Squad on its way in 2022. PVE wise, the next gen co-op is looking good guys. It's looking really good. I'm also liking the new abilities from each hero. Great improvement on the Arkham series, really nice graphics and presentation. So it looks like each, each hero is gonna be unique. They'll probably have a great synergy as well and great ways to take down enemies either aggressively or, or via stealth. So I can say this, there's going to be regular updates on Gotham Knights here on this channel. So I'll try my best to keep you guys posted. I can't wait for more information, more gameplay. If there's a deep co-op element to this game, I definitely want to embrace that because playing co-op games, as you guys can tell, is definitely my thing. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Follow me on social media. All the links are in the description box below. I'm Jack2505. This is 2505 Gaming. Please stick around and watch the 8 minute in-game 
trailer. I'm sure you guys are going to enjoy it. So I'll catch you guys soon. Peace out and have a nice day. Patrick Redding, creative director on Gotham Knights. On behalf of the whole team at WB Games Montreal, I'm really honored to give you a quick look at our gameplay. Country. Elliot Center is covered in ice. Whatever's causing this is localized at the top. Definitely We're going to look at a short clip from one of Gotham Knights' villain crimes in a pre-alpha build. This mission is halfway through the Mr. Freeze storyline, and we're playing Batgirl a dozen or so hours into her character progression. at Elliott Center. Air support inbound. Hostiles opening fire on upper floors. Air support, can you do a fly around? Freeze has All recently right. returned to Gotham with a mysterious agenda that involves manipulating the weather to flash Freeze's city. We need a way to get through that ice. An important goal for Gotham Knights was that players can play all of the game, either solo or in two-player co-op. If he wants a fight, he'll get it. Robins learned how to access the Justice League satellite for short-range teleportation. And while Batgirl has mastered some more familiar techniques. And developed a few new ones of her own. Heard you're down there having some fun. Fun's one word for it. Just a heads up, that chopper's under orders to fire on anything that moves inside. The Gotham City Police. Drop your weapons, or we will open fire. Returning fire! The storm is getting worse. You need to hurry and find a way inside Elliot Center. The GCPD chopper made that part easy. This doesn't look up to code. Whoa! If anyone asks, I meant to do that. I won't say a word. Wars were still going on when Freeze came through. Those poor people. They didn't stand a chance. Gotham Knights is built to let players approach each challenge with their preferred style and their preferred build. This will only take a second. <laughs>
safest time to take the elevator. You'd rather take the stairs? These cables on the floor. Guaranteed they lead to freeze. to stop this now. Disruptors in place. It's charging. Get away from my storm engine. Is that what you're calling it? You don't want to be on the roof when this disruptor goes off. Trust me. Irrelevant. I already have what I need. storm has risen over Gotham. Nothing can stop it. We'll see about that. You cannot run from me! An important element of Gotham Knights is that as the player increases in power and ability, their foes keep pace. So confronting a villain like Mr. Freeze can be a very different proposition at level 5 or at level 15. And not just in terms of stats, but in the kinds of attacks and defenses they bring to bear. And that was just a short peek at Gotham Knights. We're going to have more to show you in the future. <laughs>